We were all created in the image of God as it states in Genesis. The problem is, throughout history, mankind has created God in the image of a man, giving it a physical form. This keeps pulling us further and further away from the truth. You are all at a fork in the road, and it is up to you to determine which road to travel. One road will take you down the path towards enlightenment and self-realization, to where you start adding fuel to the divine spark instead of suffocating it. The work you do on this road will purify your soul, and your eyes will become single allowing you to see through the eye of spirit, seeing no evil. While on the other road, you continue repeating the same old patterns and habits, unaware of your gifts and blessings that have been right in front of you all along. The hardship of life will slowly start adding up, weighing heavy on your soul, leading to dis-ease, discomfort, anxiety, and more suffering. You may not believe the words I am speaking, and that's okay. In fact, I don't want you to believe anything I'm saying. Because true wisdom is knowing you know nothing. It's in the void between time and space where you will find the answer. Because the physical world and the people in it have formed your mind, creating chains that keep you from transcending. It is within the gap between thoughts where you will start hearing sweet stillness, your heartbeat, the breath of life, the wind in the air, a bee buzzing around. With a still mind, you will soon gain intuition and insight. But not too many people can hear these whispers because of the lack of focus, the awareness, and the compulsive chattering mind that never shuts up. I am merely a signpost steering you down the path of self-discovery. We all have a gift, and this gift was placed where most will never imagine looking. This place is on the other side of your physical and mental body. The root of all your suffering isn't coming from the lack of materialistic stuff but rather it is coming from the lack of attention on your very own soul. Jesus once said, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. It's not up to me, your teachers, parents, priest, president, or anyone to tell you what to believe. It's up to you to find the truth within your very own being. There are so many people around our planet that are running into identity issues, and they are suffering. It all comes down to the question of, who am I? And where did I come from? We all have been told what to believe and how we should live our life. Even religion is not the same as it once was taught in scriptures. It has become watered down, dogmatic, and governed. And throughout history, there has been more bloodshed in the name of Christ trying to dictate how we should worship our Savior. There is a divine wisdom locked inside each one of you, and it is waiting to come alive. The problem is that your spark that once burned so brightly has slowly faded away. I'm telling you that your mind is like a garden and you, my friend, are the gardener. Your garden has been overtaken by weeds and these weeds are suffocating the divine spark within your very own soul. I'm going to let you in on a secret. You don't have a soul. You are a soul. You just don't remember. When you get beyond your compulsive thinking mind, and your outer senses and, and start listening to the silence of your breath, your worries slowly disappear. You start reconnecting with your God essence. Underneath this body you are wearing is a portable paradise and when you align with your long lost soul, the river of life will soon fill your cup up. Your heart will open like a blooming flower and you will become drunk on the Holy Spirit bringing you ecstasies far greater than you could ever imagine. Christian mysticism isn't about what you gain, but rather what you lose. When you lose all the trauma, suffering, and false identities that you have been dragging around through life, you will start to become holy once again, and you will become healthier, happier, and a more loving human being. That is what uncovering souls is all about. Christ once said that God is a spirit and must be worshipped as a spirit. It's time to get back to your roots and reconnect with your true inner self. If this sounds like something you would like to dive more into or, or hear more about, make sure you subscribe, like, and click the bell so you don't miss any future episodes. Also, make sure you leave a comment letting me know that you subscribed. Be well and soulful, my friends.